Hello, and welcome back to more Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal Badly Translated to Craziness. In the last part, we got to Ecritik City and caught a, uh, what's it called, Chin Chow, which we named Green. And in this part, we're going to explore Ecritik City and see what's up. Now, Ecritik City has a lot of things to do in it, so let's just get right into this. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fight the Kimono Girls, mainly because the reward for that is Surf. And I would really enjoy having a stronger move on my Chin Chow at the moment. So, um, in Heart Gold Soul Silver, you would have to fight a Team Rocket member. Uh, but in this part, or in this game, excuse me, you actually just fight the Kimono Girls right now. And that was like weird lag from the emulator I'm using. It uh, was a little strange. Alright, so let's get right into this. Brought beautiful elves. Let me have a look. Now, um, of course, if you didn't know, all the Kimono Girls are using evolutions. However, they're still fairly easy. If I go into the Silver Dash, I can get the Pokemon I actually have fairly powerful moves and can kill you. But they're fairly different, so I don't know why my emulator is acting like this. That's a little strange. I don't know if it's all of a sudden just being like, oh no, I don't want to be recorded. Silly video. Strong. Maybe my Camtasia is just going crazy. I don't know. Anyway, dance with Elf. The Elf is trained well. I apologize if I seem a little, uh, I don't know, quieter. Okay, what is going on here? VBA, you're being weird. Oh, okay. Well, uh, this Espeon can actually be kind of difficult, um, because it has very high special attack and stab and confusion. Of course, it doesn't help if it crits you, of course. I'm gonna have to see what all those live things are, because that's... that's really weird. Hmm, that's kind of disappointing. Beautiful contest. What? You're a weird. See apostrophe. Oh, there you go. Probably just not saying anything anymore. Just wondering what the hell's going on with uh, this audio glitching. Oh well. How lovely. Compete with me. Compete with you. Why don't you compete with me? Yo, whatever. Um, this is going on again to be kind of annoying. You just have a lot of defense and a lot of HP. It's generally very bulky. So there you go. And there goes VDA having weird audio again. What the hell? I'll have to look into that. That is very weird. Also, Fun Sparse is being coming in family overload. That is again something I will have to fix. However, I will probably be doing massive amounts of training once this part is over so that everyone is at an equal level. There you go. And the final thing we have to fight is a Jolteon, but we also have to fight the audio glitching. That is something that we should probably fight in the face. And thank you for missing Sun Attack. That is very nice. And there you go. You're good at yourself. <laughs> so, that is how you beat up Kimono Girls. Pretty easy, uh, but the reward is very, very useful if you talk to this guy. Not only Miss Woozy's dance looks as good, but also the monst- VBA, stop that. But also, the monster is strong, at all time to challenge and to flee, but not to be called the king. Compare with that, your monster's fighting shape looks dancing. You let me enjoy the good thing. This is a mere trifle. Never mind, accept it. You can make what, what you will of that, but he just gives a surf, and that is incredibly useful. So I'm going to teach that to Chin Chao right now. Wherever it may be. Um, saw Wa Gun. Yes, Surf is called Wa Gun. Whereas opposed to Water Gun, which is called Flame. I don't know. I've just learned not to question anything in this game, pretty much. However, I will be getting rid of um, Flail, because Flail is a physical move, and I have no use for it. So, there you go. Um, so now I will move this guy right here to the front with his new surfmitude, and I will actually go into his moves, put that right there, oh, okay, and then move that right there, very good. And now we are all set to not go to the gym, because we actually can't at the moment. We have to go to the burnt tower first. So, just go right there, yeah. Now in the burnt tower we have a few things to do, we have a few main characters to talk with, and a person to fight. Now this is Naji, or Yuzin. I am finding the water army, are you? 
It is said that there are a water army in Burnt Tower. Is it true? Why are you asking me? I just walked in here. Anyway, yeah, that's Yuzin. Um, he's looking for Suicune, or apparently the water army. And here's Morty. Or Song Jiao. Song Jiao says, The head to the aid. The gymnasium said we would study the legendary A and monster at full split. Or else there is nothing. Mianaji something these wished. You were together us with us to investigate the tower. Battle. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna be right back. I'm going to go get some paper, er, uh, paper towels? Why did I say paper towels? I'm going to go get some repels, and not paper towels. So I will be right back, yes. Be right back. Right, so apparently the Pokemon actually doesn't have any repels. That is both annoying and incredibly inconvenient. Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with random encounters here. And I will go the completely wrong way. Very nice. Also, I noticed that that, that that sound glitch actually doesn't occur when I'm not recording, which means that only occurs when I am recording. So, um, I guess I'll go into what's going on there, because that's a little weird and kind of eerie, I think. Anyway, we have to go this way. Deal with some random encounters. Da -da -da. Right, so if I can not be interrupted... It would only figure that I would find a random encounter as soon as I say that. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, so now if I can not be interrupted, we're actually gonna go and fight Silver or TPC. Probably should have saved. Oops. I heard you were sleeping there. Where? The legendary monster looked for you specially. How that monster might exist? I came there for you specially. Don't say so. Don't use the method. It's not it's good not to blame you. Right, TPC, you're silly, uh, and your silly tactics will not side with me. So he leads off with something called Fant. It is the same level as my Chincha, which means this is going to be a battle of skills and wits or something. Um, he does have Lick, I can paralyze you, I believe he also has uh, Curse, which is just all kinds of inconvenient. However, I have a giant tidal wave. And that's pretty useful for killing things. There's this curse in action. Man. That surf sound effect is really nice for my ears. Anyway, now he has... Whatever that is. I'm honestly... Oh no! That Pokemon that he just is going to send out now is actually a Magnemite. Which is very nice because I have a Quilava. So, yeah, not much to say there. Just kill off the Magnemite. The Magnemite can actually be kind of difficult if you don't have something that's good against it. Particularly Quilava or a ground type. Maybe a fighting type. Oh, thank you for going through confusion. That just makes my whole life a bunch better. And a useless critical hit, because why not? And, our stats are looking pretty good. So now he was going to switch into... His Croconaw. I believe that it was his Croconaw anyway. Um, now, the best thing that I have to deal with this would actually be Dunsparce, because my Chinchou at the moment does not actually have any Electric-type moves. Very inconvenient. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with my fun sparse beating a crocodile, which certainly is like not difficult or anything, but it does mean that fun sparse does get more experience, and he is currently the most high level of my entire party, so that's not something I particularly like doing. And I get flinched twice. You stop that, yeah. I... Okay, you just flinched me three times. You just flinched me three times. What a dick. I don't have any healing items. Stop using bite if you flinch me again. Jesus Christ! Dude! Oh my goodness! You just went there! And the friggin' sound glitch! This is getting extremely annoying now. Okay. 
Okay, stop using bite! You just flinched me four times, dude. He's gonna flinch me a fit this time. Oh my god! Five times in a row! I have never seen anything like that. Wow! That is just bad on all kinds of levels. Okay, um... Well, that happened. Uh, let's see if this streak continues. Let's try and go for Thunder Wave. Oh, I'm faster than him. Never mind. I suppose my Quick Claw just never went into effect there. Well, at least he now won't be able to flinch me, but he will be able to get a critical hit! What the hell is going on here? Good thing I have a revive. So I can just kind of fodder off my uh, Chin Chow. But I wouldn't have been surprised if he uh, got another critical hit there. And I missed Supersonic, not that it matters. Miss it again as he goes for a bite. Yup. So this fight is going well, I would say. I suppose this is just an omen for things to come. Ah, now I flinch you! How do you feel about that? I'm talking to a for alligator. I mean, Croconaw. Right. Oh, dear. Um. Let's see. Now Dunsparce wants to learn a new move. That ain't good. I don't have the list. One second, I'm gonna pause the recording and go look up the list to see what Mply is. Be right back. So Mply is Pursuit, and Pursuit is er, Pursuit is Dark type, and Dark type is still special in this generation, which means I will have to decline your offer. Ah, uh, Mply, it's over. Right. So now, oh, there goes your sound. There. <laughs> I was trying to pick, fix the fact that it looked a little more pixelated in the recording. Whatever. Anyway, now we have to deal with the uh, Zubat. Now this would be okay, except my freaking um, Chin Chow died, so that's kind of annoying. Not that it had any electric moves to begin with, but still. Jesus, that like audio skip is extremely annoying. I'm gonna have to like restart VBA or something. Forget it. In any case, you are not dressed by the legendary monster. Oh, I, oh, I went down. Urwitch hole. What droped? Fall, failing thing. Serve one right. Ah, oh, TPC is a jerk. Anyway, we find ourselves here. Um, I believe that Eugene is down here. No, he's in. Oh, that well. Well, there's. Three again. Yeah, I still can't believe that dumb squash punching thing. He punched me five times in a row. What the hell? Anyway, now we have dogs or hamsters or something. Raiko, Ante, and Suicune. Ba boom, ba boom. And now the Suicunes just kind of jump around me. Da da da. Bye bye, Suzuki. Right, and then there was Yuzin, or Mainaji. Mainaji says, "Us, how I dig a hole to go into. I am frightened in the front their area. Strong strength suddenly, Aen appears. I have found him ten years, and they found the end. It's excited thanks to Will. Thank you. The legendary monster accepted the world. Tried to approach the world." These were heard. I will track down A and then we'll buy. Alright then. Well, uh, now I guess we just have nothing else to do here except find. Wild Gems! God, that is annoying. So I think I'm going to take up the strategy of just stockpiling videos at the moment. And. Really, dude. What? Okay, so we have a question mark, a small version of the Japanese symbol for O, and then a bunch of question marks and X's. But Elf, to have a com a competiment, competiment, tell me 30 comes goodbye. 
No comment. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. I'll be right back. Now, all we have to do in Ecruteak City to be done with this place is go to the gym. So let's do that. Um, as far as I know, yes, I do still have Chinchou at the front. So let's go. Fight some trainers. Hit two elves. Now clearly this is some very in-depth and personal meaning dialogue with audio creatures. Man, that is really annoying. Well, now that we have circled through these battles, we'll be going by somewhere quicker. And a critical hit always helps with that matter. Oh my god, this person has five gases. That is quite the annoyance. Jesus. Always nice when there's audio questions with the search soundtrack. It's my favorite. Oh, no, I don't want to switch to no, thank you. As far as I know, this person just has a bunch of gases, which is great when I don't have anything really to talk about. I, I apologize if I'm not really, uh, sounding happy in this episode. I'm not in the best mood at the moment, but I'm hoping the friends of Pokemon can help me with that. So, there you go. I don't know. I'm always like recording this kind of stuff. Makes me feel like a better mood. There you go. And having all these technical failures along with the fact that there's always something towards my computer is just not helping my mood very much. But, you see what I guess. Also, I don't have any school, um, well, today, which is Friday today, and on Monday, so I'm not able to actually record some stuff more. So, there you go. Uh, now, I don't really remember the layout of this gym, so excuse me if there's a lot of trial and error going on. And I can't go there, which means I gotta go here. Or not. Um, where do I go? Oh, yeah, I go here. Silly me, I always forget this gym. Don't be at the loss on the invisible floor, tell you the good. Should've read that. Yeah. I always like the medium sprite in this game. I don't know, I just look kind of silly, I think. I don't know what is. No, no, I know what that is. That's Sprite. I don't remember that because Fun Sprite's tried to learn it. And this stuff just happened. And he just politely kills himself off the surf. That works. But he has another one. That does not work. But uh, I guess I can just switch in my Kulava. Get rid of that curse. So there you go. Oh no. He's curse. I mean not curse. Sprite. That's not good. But I get a critical hit. So that's nice. But damn, Spite has a cool animation in this game. <laughs> Alright, do I have to go this way? Yes! So far, so good. Now that's some nice dialogue. Oh no, continue, you should write a book like that. <laughs> I don't even know how they come up with that. Like, as far as I know, these are pretty literal translations, except for the names and whatever the hell that is. Like, did they just become frustrated when they were trying to translate the dialogue and just smash their keyboards? The only explanation I can come up with. Unless it's like, the game's trying to read the encrypted data of the ROM itself. Which I don't even know how you would program that into a Game Boy cartridge. Man, level 22 Hunter, that is powerful stuff. The stake is large. Well, yes, I would generally not prefer my stakes to be small. How would that, like, hardly fill your appetite, guy? Also, I messed that up. That just went perfectly. Come on. I don't remember how this goes. Good enough. Win. This lady knows what's up. He just immediately just goes win. No contact, just win. Good on you, lady. Why did I bother hesitating when I chose that? Whatever. And one hit killing gas is always nice. Oh, but we have more. Awesome. Green level 20, yes. As you can see, Green Lantern is. Very quickly grown the ropes here. As I said when I actually caught him, it's very nice the fact that he actually ends up uh, appearing in the wild at level 20, so I have to do very little training. So that's useful. I like how Lake is called again. Like again, how do you even get that from translation? Also, uh, LOL, I said again, quick again. Oh, I'm out of PP. Good thing I have that. Unless, of course, I get freaking pulled a crocodile and just get paralyzed five times. Lose! Win and lose. This lady's dialogue is very, very, uh, varied. English. I still can't believe that, man. She's freaking got five flinches on me with crocodile. If you're wondering what I'm dealing, doing, I'm healing. Right, so now let's actually try and do this puzzle once and for all. Like that. Yes! I did it without falling in the thing! I'm the best! Around. But this audio glitching is definitely not the best around, but that is neither here nor there. So I think I'm just gonna lead off with my uh, Chincha. 
so yeah. Not much to say about that, I'm just gonna be saving. Alright, now let's do this. You have come in Yaunzu, or Yuanzu. The past god waited the monster. It said there was a rise monster flew to fall down the front of the charismatic coach. I believe this fine legend. From my birth, I cultivated myself according to religious doctrine secretly there. Thanks to this, I can see the thing others can't. Wait a moment, you can see the rainbow monster. As if see the fewer. For this, I will cultivate myself. Do you come to help me? Maybe I came to help you. Or maybe I just came to, you know, beat you in a Pokemon battle and get your badge. Whatever floats your boat. So he's gonna lead off with the Ghastly. Nothing special about that, really. However, I'm going to lead off with Green Lantern, or Green Chinchou. And there's definitely something special about that, because Green the Chinchou is pretty swell. And he ends up killing, him off, killing himself off with Curse. That is just insanely convenient. And I'm almost level 23. Now, of course, because I'm cursed, I'm going to switch into my Cool Lava. As he switches into his guy. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to deal with uh, his Gengar, because that could definitely become a thing. And he goes for another Chris. This time I actually will have to stay in, but still, it's pretty great. Like, so far, now all I have to do is kill off another Haunter and a Gengar, and then I'll be pretty much set. Now it looks like he's actually sending in his Gengar. Again, because I'm cursed, I will have to switch into my Green Lantern. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to paralyze him um, with Thunder Wave, just because it's 100% accurate and all that. Fairly useful. Or he puts me to sleep. That is definitely not useful. Right. Um, I forget which one of these. Do I even have... Oh my god. I don't know what I have. Um, I think this might be... No! You guy. Okay. Well, let's hope that he doesn't use Dream Eater. He used Dream Eater. That audio glitching is definitely not helping. Ugh. Well darn. Looks like I'm actually gonna lose this battle if things go according to his plan. Um, yeah, if Quilava dies, I'm pretty much dead. Oh, he missed Hypnosis. <laughs> okay, if that's how much Ember is doing, I'm screwed. Oh well, <laughs> if I can kill him from him missing Ember like, er, um, from him missing Hypnosis like 30 times. Oh, so far so good! <laughs> okay, um, I don't know how to deal with this. Oh no! Come on, Kulava. Get like a first turn wake or something, please. Oh god damn it. Oh well, that was funny. He missed like five Dream Eaters there. Seriously. Yep, I'm done. Well. GG, Morty. You got me. Um. I was just going to the Ecritique store. I don't know what happened to the items here. But, what? Um, what's up with these question marks, guy? That's a little weird. Did I, like, break my game when I closed the ROM or something? Because I did admittedly close the ROM just on the off chance that it would fix the audio glitching. I don't remember... What? Maybe that's just a part of the game. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I'm buying Awakenings, by the way. Alright, Morty. I am back. And with Awakenings, 
Let's do this! I now have five of them, and I should be good as long as everything goes in this fight as well as it did in the last fight, barring the Gengar sweeping. So, let's go! I hope that buying all those Awakenings didn't, like, mess up my game in any way, because, like, that shop was pretty, uh, suspicious with all the question marks and jumbled text and all. So, like, here's hoping. Hoping? Here's hoping. I really should not play this game as much as I do. So, pretty much nothing different. Just gonna, um, hope that they kill themselves off with curse and, uh, switch accordingly. Yeah. And, so far so good. As this one does kill itself off with curse, I can now switch into my lava. Probably would have been a good idea for me to buy revives too, but I think I should be good with just awakenings. Ugh. I'm gonna have to find out what the hell is going on with that audio glitching, because that is annoying. Also, I would like to get a better stab move for my Falava than freaking Bind. I mean, um, whatever it's called. The one move. Ember, that's it. I would like to get a better stab move than that, because Ember is not the best. Ooh, that burn is useful. Aw, oh, yes. Well, that pretty much went perfect! Except for the fact that he hit me with a nightshade, I got the burn, so there you go! Level 23 road. Now I can accordingly switch into my Chin Chow as he switches into his Gengar. And now we're gonna try this again. Preferably not with you sweeping me with Dream Raider. As I am well prepared. With audio glitches and awakenings. And we're starting off good with him missing some hypnosises. Hypnosi? What would be the plural to hypnosis? I have no idea. Anyway, hopefully he'll go for a dream eater here and not predict me to ha actually have five awakenings, but I do indeed have them. Indeed. Alright, now you miss... Yes! I called it! Okay, maybe calling out those things does work. Who knows? I certainly don't. Oh my god. This is some stupidness. Seriously gonna- oh, I did not mean to do that. Am I seriously just gonna have to use up all my awakenings? Alright, let's go. Oh man, I'm noticing a pattern here. He hits me, I wake myself, and then I hit. He's probably gonna hit this one. He didn't! That pretty much went as good as a fight could go. Friggin' really? I hope Camtasia's catching that, because that is annoying as hell. With, uh, the surf animation. Anyway... Let's just hope that Haunter does not mess up our day. Or night in my case, it's 10.30 right now. Alright, I think we pretty much guaranteed to win this. Let's find out. Glitchy audio. Yes, we did it! We won! Woo. Knowing you not enough give you this badge. From Will from Song Ye, I gained the Illusory Badge. Uh-huh. Only hold this badge, then all the monster under 50 level will follow you, surfing or stunt. All can be learned, and this for you. And he gives us the TM for Shadow Ball. It's pretty useful. Although, uh, it is a physical attack, so maybe not. Anyway, we've pretty much done everything we can do in, uh, Ecrotique City now. Only took us 36 minutes. Good. Anyway, uh, in the next part, hopefully we can end up going, uh, 
to Olivine City and uh, fixing this audio glitching problem because I don't know what the hell that was. But yeah, next time, Olivine City, um, maybe going to the lighthouse. Anyway, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs> They